Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you joined me today. I know how precious time is. So I'm so glad you decided to give me a couple of minutes of your time so we can do these compound moves. But before I get ahead of myself, my name is Pauline. If this is your first time joining this ageless fitness lifestyle community, my name is Pauline. I am 69. 69 years young and I have a love for fitness and I, I just I just enjoy sharing that love, that energy with you. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you're not a member of this Ageless Fitness community, please come on and join us. We would love to have you. Well, today is going to be a quickie. It's going to be a real quickie and we're going to knock out so many body movements with one move. And this is called compound move. So I have four very quick exercises for beginners to intermediate to advanced. Four quick compound moves that we can do. You can do them in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. If you just want to get some movement in your body and some good exercise, I feel like a million dollars to start your day. So I'm not going to chitter chatter, chitter chatter, chitter chatter. I'm just going to jump right into the exercise. But first, we're going to get ready to warm up. So let's do it. Here we go. Okay, let's warm up that body. The first thing that I want you to do, the first thing that I want you to be conscious of is your ab muscle. I want you to hold it in. I don't want it to hang out. I want you to hold that muscle in because as you're holding it in, we're tightening it up. And that is an exercise within itself. Just hold that muscle in as we work, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna warm up the shoulders. We're gonna go back, two, three, four, five, and now we're gonna go forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise we're gonna do to warm up the body, we're gonna slightly bend our legs in a sumo position. We're gonna go down and up. Actually, we're doing a little squat, but we're warming up the legs to let the legs know that they are getting ready to work. Two more. One, two. And in the same thought of that sumo position, we're gonna bend down and we're gonna reach over. So really warm up those obliques. Up, squat, reach over. Up, squat, reach over. Down, reach over, really reach. One more, reach, and last one, reach. Good job. Okay, we can march that out. Yeah, I'm so glad you're with me today. All right, last and final warm up that we're going to do. We're gonna stretch our legs out again. We're gonna bend down. We're gonna reach up. Reach up. One arm is reaching up as we're warming up the body. Everything's getting warmed up right now. One more. and way to go. Don't forget, I want you to hold that tummy in. I don't want you to let that tummy hang out. Just hold it in as we're doing our exercise, all right? Okie doke, let's get ready for the next move. Here we go. Okay, the body is all warmed up, the shoulders, the arms, the core, the legs, everything's warmed up. 
we're ready to go. So, the first exercise that we're gonna do, the first compound exercise that we're gonna do, is we're going to use four body parts. Four body parts for only one exercise. We're gonna be using our arms, we're gonna be working our core, we're gonna be working our legs, and we're gonna put some icing on the cake by adding a little cardio in that as well. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna get my 10 pound kettlebell. I'm gonna hold it like so. I'm gonna open my legs up. I'm gonna go down and up, down and up. These are called ab swings. Down and up. Elbows are locked, working the arms, working the core, five, Four, three, two, one. Good job. But, you might say, I don't have any kettlebell pulling. I don't have one. What can I use to do that exercise? What you can use is a weight. I have a 15 pound weight right here. I'm holding it like so. I'm gonna go down, up, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Way to get after it. But Pauline, I'm just starting out. I'm just starting out with this, this exercise routine. I don't have any equipment in my house. Oh, yes you do. Yes, you do. I know you cook. And because you cook, I know you have a pot or a pan. I know you have one of these bad boys. If you're just starting off, I want you to go down and up, down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, 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 down. You see, we don't have any excuses in this community. None at all. We are going to get after it. We're going to transform our bodies. And what we're doing, we're introducing our body to movement. Whether we have a kettlebell, whether we have weights, or whether we have a kitchen utensil, we can still get after it, all right? So good job. Four body parts knocked out with one exercise. All right, next exercise, here we go. Next compound exercise, here we go. Okay, moving right along, the next compound move that we're gonna do, we're gonna introduce movement to our biceps, our legs once again. I love working the legs because the legs, especially the glutes, that is the biggest muscle in our body. And because it's the biggest muscle in our body, its job is to burn the fat. So anytime I can introduce my glutes to a compound workout, that's exactly what I do. So let me demonstrate what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do squat, glutes, biceps, up, shoulders. Glutes, biceps, shoulders. Glutes, biceps, shoulders. Glutes, biceps, shoulders. Glutes, biceps, shoulders. Five. 
four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Way to go, way to go. We're gonna polish it off by doing 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, tummy in, four, three, two, one. Good job, excellent. Again, if you're just starting off, you don't have any exercise equipment, just go down, bring it up, make believe you have one, up, down, all right? Down, up, yes. Down, bicep curl, up. Down, bicep curl, up. Way to get after it. Nice, quick, easy. I would recommend 12 to 15 reps, all right? Okay, not taking much of your time. Let's move on to the next compound exercise. Here we go. All of you, here we go. We're getting ready to do our last compound move. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be working on our legs again, because those are the guys that are burning up all the fat for us and we're gonna be working on our obliques, all right? So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do curtsy, like we curtsy to the queen. We're gonna come up, tap, boom. Curtsy, tap, boom. Curtsy, tap, oblique. Curtsy, tap, oblique. One. Yes. Two. Really gonna feel that stretch in the leg and in the oblique. Oblique, excuse me. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Six. Go down as low as you can, but if you can't get down low, don't worry, all I want you to do is do your best, that's it. Two more, one, yeah, two, yeah. Okay, what's good for one side is good for the other. Here we go. Curtsy, tap, oblique. 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 Five more. Five. Yes. Really. Feel it. Four. Yes. Yes, do the very best that you can do. And one more. Good job. I'm so proud of you. I recommend 12 to 15 moves on each side. All right? I'm proud of you. You did it. All righty way to get after it. Salute yourself. You did a good job. You did it. And like I said, I am so proud of you because you did something good for yourself. You moved your body. You used those compound moves to just move your body and get after it. So way to go. I am proud of you. I really am. Oh, I'm giving you a high five. So, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, if you're not a member of this community, come on. Come 
on and join us. We would love to share our passion for fitness and healthy living and all good things with you. So I want you to have a good day. Take good care. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very, very soon. Once again, I salute you for doing something good for yourself. Take good care. Have a real good day. Take good care now. Bye-bye.